Okay, Grampy's on the roof. Again, call 911. Here we are, this structure faces north. We come up on the east side of the front, front porch area. This valley's cut kind of strange. Usually they're too close. But down here, this is a little bit of this, this lapping is a concern. You can see the way the debris is getting caught up in there. You can see how it's not draining. See the, the dirt in that area. And then we come on along and we can see a little bit of wood rot starting to form right around here. See this flashing? This is the edge flashing. Right now it's the rake edge. This is the drip edge. See the way you have this lap? This lap? Well, the manufacturer says that it's supposed to be a minimum of 10 inches. The roof covering manufacturer. And um, they rarely are. And you're probably never going to see a failure because of that. Um, probably never have a claim denied because of it. So it's, it's more or less de menace. I don't like discounting my work. But just be known, let it be known that that wasn't installed as per the manufacturer. And again, we've got the drainage. This is the way we started. Got a little bowing over here. Trees touching the east side of the house. This tree here, when it gets wet, do you think those branches will come down and touch the roof? I do. I might not be touching it today. Another thing, quasi related, or you know, sometimes very related to the roof covering. The water's backing up in here. Right in there, you can see that. Is uh, we don't have rain gutters. So we're going across the front, we're heading west. Got a big old crepe myrtle here. It's touching the roof. The covering doesn't look horribly old. Again, it's pillowing over here, it's kind of bowing down. If it was in the middle, I'd call it something. So I had to make up some name. It doesn't fit my definition real well. We've got passive wind turbine. That then that's probably a bathroom duct, which I'm kind of surprised, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. We've got a couple wind turbines here. Moving on along. This would be the water heater flue. This would be the furnace flue. This flue cap here. This flue cap here. So it's a little bit of deflections, hail dings. Let's experience some hail. Moving on along, your water heater flue cap is crooked. You're not sitting up like it's supposed to. What is that about? Satellite dishes. I haven't seen one installed properly. About 15 years ago in a class I learned that there's a jig or a brace or a bracket that they're supposed to be mounted on that holds them more secure and makes them more watertight. And the only place I ever saw that was the illustration in the uh, pool class. Uh, excuse me, in the roofing class. And um, so I've got that illustration baked into your report. That's the only place you're ever going to see it. So, but there it is. I don't like to discount my work. You're going to hear that. But I've never had a client call me back and say, Bud, we got that satellite dish. We got that fixed. They got us. They got one of those brackets underneath that you're talking about. It just hasn't happened yet. If it happens, call me. Call me. I'd like to. I'd like to change my narrative. But again, we do have some rain gutters right over the patio. This is the only rain gutters that we have. And right in here. Okay, it's PVC drains. Uh, excuse me. Uh, waste vent stacks. How do these rain gutters work? This one's full and clogged. It just opens up on the end there. It comes down to the other one. What's that about? It's, it's not going to be... It doesn't look like it's the best design. So far, I haven't seen a downspout. We're, we're going to look. We're going to look and see if we can find one. There's the pool, guys. At least two of them. I guess one of them servicing it, one of them inspecting it. 
Okay. Lots of good, lots of good eyes on the pool. By the way, the pool is beyond the scope of this inspection. I mean, it's getting inspected. It's just not being inspected by me. We've got a little bit of a broken, broken trim, vertical trim board. Right there. The siding is supposed to be a minimum of two inches. A minimum of two inches above the roof covering. That's per the manufacturer. So our siding's too close there. Another, both vertical trim boards. Both of them look like they're in pretty bad shape right there. They do. They do. They can stand a little help. What do I see over here? I see a shingle flying up. All that needs is a little sealant. A little sealant. This one and any others like it. What was what, that up? Oh, it's a nail's holding it up. There you go. Look at that. You need a roofer to come look at that. It's not expensive, but it can be if you leave it alone. 